In Godzilla King of Monsters, we see that King Ghidorah is frozen in Antarctica. However, King Ghidorah isn't from Earth and appears to be buried. This could be due to numerous reasons, but I think it may be relating to him doing something along the lines of hibernating or being in a dormant state due to potentially being wounded. So essentially he's healing over time or taking what you may interpret as the most dramatic ice bath ever. All bad jokes aside, when King Ghidorah wakes up, a lot of questions are going to be asked, such as where is he from, why is he here, and in many iterations, King Ghidorah is an alien dragon from outer space. That's probably what they're going to go with in this movie. With this beef between the two of them, you know, many people are also going to wonder in universe when they come in contact, why do they hate each other so much? And I think the question stems from not only King Ghidorah's origins, but also just basically what he represents in general. In the Millennium series, kind of there was a thing with the monsters where they were guardians. Each one kind of had a certain title. For example, King Ghidorah was the god of the sky, Mothra was the god of water, and Baragon was the god of earth. I think there will, they will reintroduce this in the Monsterverse but with a little twist, with them instead being kind of guardians of the earth instead of simply being guardians of Japan. And in the Monsterverse, it's very likely they'll take some liberties such as Godzilla maybe becoming the god of water or god of the seas instead of Mothra while maybe Kong will become the so-called god of earth. Now I doubt they will actually do this, I'm just throwing it out there for the sake of it. However, in the movie I think more likely we'll get something along the lines of maybe King Ghidorah is still the god of skies. He may not be the original god of skies. So in Godzilla King of Monsters, we know Mothra and Rodan appear, so it's very possible that maybe Mothra will be the goddess of seas, because you know Mothra is female, and Rodan will be the god of skies, while Godzilla is the god of earth. And instead of it being a situation where god of earth simply means land masses, it may be a situation where he's literally considered the overall god of earth, just because he's the most powerful one of all of them. And in this scenario, the presence of King Ghidorah just simply disturbs the balance between all the different gods or guardians, which is why they all come into conflict. In the Monsterverse so far, when they describe King Ghidorah, they don't really call him a god or anything like that, they call him the devil. It may not mean much, just think it's interesting. I think this actually may be the way they go with it. This makes me think that the mutual hatred between King Ghidorah and Godzilla stems from just their natural, you know, personalities, their innate natures. Now King Ghidorah seems to be a very destructive force that personifies basically chaos. In trailers, from descriptions we've gotten, they basically say that when he appears, he causes storms all around him. It's destruction, you know, there's nothing peaceful about King Ghidorah. Besides his behavior, King Ghidorah is not from Earth, so they also may play that as him being not only a chaotic imbalance, to the ecosystem, but he's also very much an invasive species. Godzilla has already shown from the previous movie he doesn't really like those kind of things, because the Mutos, supposedly the reason why Godzilla hated Mutos so much, was because they were parasitic. Now this comes in conflict with creatures, like I said, such as Godzilla, or even Mothra really, because they seem more benevolent, more peaceful, and for Godzilla in particular, he is the apex part of the earth, and he's been that for millions of years from what we've been told since they claim he was around since the Permian period. And the Permian period was very long ago, I mean if you look it up, it says it was from 299 to 251 million years ago. Godzilla is kind of being a little bit of a stereotypical old timer here, was probably one to preserve the, the status quo. But luckily for us, the status quo means order. With maintaining balance on the earth, it's probably just very much so, it's not a situation like in Kong Skull Island, where Kong hates the skull crawlers because they killed his parents. Instead of that, most likely Godzilla versus Ghidorah will be based on the fact that they're innately just way different creatures. Like Godzilla you could perceive as, for my analogy here, Godzilla is kind of a creature of the forest, and Ghidorah is a creature of fire. Just like they say in Jungle Book, you don't want to bring fire into the forest because it'll burn the forest down. And that's kind of how I'm interpreting this. Pretty much Godzilla does not like Ghidorah, because Ghidorah will destroy everything that Godzilla is kind of all about. And on top of that, Ghidorah is also pretty antagonizing, he's a very aggressive creature from what he's usually depicted as and described as. So I really do think that their hatred for each other stems just from the fact that they're polar opposites. One means, I guess, order you could say with Godzilla. The other means complete chaos and destruction with Ghidorah. Anyways, comment your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think? Do you do you have any theories supporting this? Do you have any other theories? I'm definitely really interested in hearing what everyone has to think. And with all that said and done, I'll see you guys later.